Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2007 uh, free response questions. So we're looking at number five here. This is the non-calculator portion, by the way. The volume of a spherical hot air balloon expands as the air inside the balloon is heated. The radius of the balloon in feet is modeled by a twice differentiable function r of time t, where t is measured in minutes. For zero, for t between zero and twelve, the graph is of r is concave down. The table gives the selected values of the rate of change of the radius of the balloon over the interval. The radius of the balloon is 30 feet when t equals 5. Note the volume of the sphere. Estimate the radius of the balloon when t equals 5.4 using the tangent line approximation t equals 5. Is your estimate greater than or less than the true value? And give a reason for your answer. OK. expands as it's heated. So I have the rate of change of R. Okay, so I know R of 5 equals 30. And I my goal is to estimate what R of 5.4 is. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to use a tangent line approximation. But I'm going to say r of 5.4 is approximately equal to r of 5 plus whatever the change is in x, delta x, um, which is 0.4. Oh, actually, uh, let me do it a little differently. Let's, let's, let's do the tangent line approximation. So we're going to do a line, right? We're going to say y um, minus y, y is equal to m x minus x naught or in this case it's t I guess t minus t naught plus y naught so the slope is given by r prime at 5 um, my, because we're doing the tangent line at r equals 5 basically um, so I'm gonna do t minus 5 plus 30 okay right because the point is 5 30 in my line so r prime of 5 is 2, so this is equal to 2 times t minus 5 plus 30. So then I want to do y of 5.4 is just simply 2 times 5.4 minus 5 is 0.4 plus 30. That's equal to 0.8 or 30.8, and the units of this are feet. Okay. Um, is it greater or less than? Well, they told us that r of t is um, concave down. So r of t kind of looks like this, right? So, and it's, incre it's increasing and it's concave down. So my line estimate here is gonna overestimate because really it's flattening out over that time time. So this is an overestimate because it's concave down. Find the rate of change of the volume of the balloon with respect to time. Uh, let me mute my notifications. Find the rate of change of the volume of the balloon with respect to time when t equals 5. Indicate units of measure. Okay, so v is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And I want to know what dv dt is. I don't know, I'm getting all kinds of calls. 4 thirds pi. Uh, so I'm just taking the derivative of this. This is 3r squared times dr dt. Okay. So this is 4 thirds. The 3 is cancel. So this is really 4 pi times r squared. At t equals 5, um, r was 30. So this is 30 squared. And dr dt, which is r prime at 5, is 2 times 2. So this is uh, 900... 900 times 8 is 7,200 pi. And the units here are cubic feet per minute. Because it's a t, t is measured in minutes. so And the volume is cubic feet. OK, so that's B. C, use a right Riemann sum with five subintervals to approximate the integral, this area. Use correct units to explain the meaning of, of this. Okay, so what do I have? I have 0 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 7, 
So I have five intervals, right? One, two, three, four, five. The right Riemann sum means that for this rectangle, for zero to two, I use the right value on the table. So the area, zero to 12, r prime of t dt is approximately equal to, well, the height of the rectangle would be 4.0, the width of the rectangle would be two minus zero, the height of this rectangle from two to five is two because I'm using the right Riemann sum. And this, the width of the interval is five minus three plus, um, here I'm doing 1.2 times seven minus five plus 0.6 times 11 minus seven plus 0.5 times 12 minus 11. So this is four times two, that's eight. 8 plus 4, that's 12. So that's 12 plus 2.4, 2 times 1.2 plus um, 4 times 0.6, that's another 2.4. 1 times plus 0.5. So that's uh, 4.8, 5.3, 7.5. Um, feet. Okay, that's the estimating. Oh, um, yeah. So that's the change in volume. The change. This integral would be the change in the volume. Seventeen point. Is your approximation say greater than or equal, less than or equal to this? And give a reason for your. Oh, okay. Th this means it grew seventeen point three feet in twelve minutes. The radius grew. Okay, that's the meaning of part C. So in part T, is it approximate? Again, it has to do with uh, this the fact that it's concave down. When I use a right endpoint, or because it's increasing, uh, when I use a right endpoint, I'm going to overestimate the area because my rectangles are actually going to be taller than the area. So this is an overestimate because our um, prime of T is. Actually, no, let me think about this. I say underestimate, sorry. Uh, this is a plot of R of T. R prime of T is decreasing. Because when I use the right endpoint over this interval, it's smaller, right? It's like it knows I went from 5.7 to 4, so it's shrinking. Okay. Let's look at how the solutions looked. Um greater I got 30.8 and it was greater 30.8 and it was over an overestimate um, 7200 pi cubic feet per minute um, oh 19.3 see I just didn't do the I just just this I'm just not good at doing this 8 plus 6 that was 14 I think I for, yeah I don't know why I said 8 plus this is 5 minus 2 so this is supposed to be three times two. So I was off by two there. Um, it is the change in the radius. Um, 19.3 is less than. That means it is an underestimate. Yep. Okay. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.